you know, very holistic approach. Mm -hmm. It's quite, quite deeper. But WIMS is an amazing system for a lot of people. It just doesn't work well for everyone because... Definitely not. It needs to be customized. I think that way. needs to be spoken about a bit more. Yeah. Because it's... Wim speaks about it with such passion and just unapologetic nature, mm. which he is. And it's it's the reason it's taken and reached the mainstream so quickly. That's amazing. Which has done so much, right, for people. Yeah. And the cold as well. And that relationship people have with stress. And yeah. it's creating their own to overcome it, to re rewrite that story. Um, what would you say are the drawbacks of the Wim Hof Method and what people should be understanding before they even go into something like that? The drawbacks is is the fact that um, the way it's been interpreted, okay? So let's actually, I'm, I would say I'm, a, I'm somewhat an expert in the Wim Hof Method, right? Because I was there in the early days and I helped even help create the course and I was speaking on the stage with him, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I know it pretty well. I've written big articles on it and I did the famous infographic as well. So the Wim Hof method is like tantric, Tibetan tantric yoga, right? The, and he's kind of, he's learned a lot of different modalities, Wim has. And he's put it into his own kind of approach. But what they've done marketing wise is they've taken some elements of it and ignored a lot of the other stuff that Wim does, right? Like the yo the original course had the yoga in it, which is all functional isometrics, the correct way of doing yoga. It's really genuine yoga. But the next version of it, and I don't even know if the instructors have taught it, is just normal vinyasa, like mainstream yoga. It's not really his real way of doing yoga. So things changed and... Uh, you know, it got put into, it got too simplified a bit, bit too simplified. And it's great. Yeah, three rounds of breath, like yeah. 30 times, and then hold your breath. It's very simple. It's, it's very simple, simple, and it works, and it breaks through the barriers. But there's also in yoga, you've got on, in Ayurveda, that, that we're all different. So Wim's method as well, if you do it, the way in some videos instructs it this is the other problem is he instructs it differently in different contexts now if you do it the way it's been instructed in some of his videos is breathe through any hole and he tends to focus on mouth breathing the reason he does the mouth breathing right is because it's really good in very cold environments because right? it started as doing the breath in the cold right yeah when he's climbing up a mountain of course it's a great <laughs> method for that but it's not good on this level. Because it's too dangerous also doing it in cold water. Yeah, and then people drown and shit. So, but mouth breathing, right, what that does is it creates a lot of sympathetic activity. You get heat, you get adrenaline pumped, pumping through, right? Even cortisol. It's like a stress inducer, right? Which is okay. It's like you produce a bit of adrenaline by doing it. Now, if you're already very over adrenalized and if you're like more of a vata type person what do you mean by over adrenalized like if you're just very stressed out anxious kind of person so so in the ayurveda system there's like seven different character profiles and sure. one end of the scale is the vata extreme vata people are very airy they're very they live in the clouds they're very very skinny frames they like almost look like they're wasting away right they can eat anything and they never put on weight. They have very very variable mind. You know, they're they're basically like they're named Chris. <laughs> no, you're not more. You're more like a pitta. I struggle putting on weight though. Huh? I you're like yeah because you, you you're a you're a. I would say you're very you're you're more of a pitta, mm. but you probably got some vada in you as well, right? You mm. pitta people also don't put on. They put on more muscle like mass. Like you look. Like you got mm -hmm. a bigger frame, mm -hmm. but you're you've got characters of a vata pitta similar as me. I'm like that, mm -hmm. but I'm talking extreme vata people are like they don't look like you. They mm -hmm. they've got very skinny frame. They like they're very frail people, mm. right? And them doing the Wim Hof method, we see this all the time in Summer Breath. They come to us, can get very hyper anxious and 
even get like uh, spikes in blood pressure and things like that because of the mouth breathing and too heavy breathing because women they misinterpret the way Wim teaches it in the course is slightly different it's more slower it's more rhythmic it's even got an ex more of an extended excel the way you do it so if you're just learning Wim off method from a few free videos on YouTube you might be doing it wrong and you might get stressed out and you may go and do it in the water and drown right and so it's very important you learn it from the person itself in person if possible or in the course but really the correct way of doing it is on this level this environment to create good habits is nasal breathing it should be done through the nose right and there's ways to ensure you're holding your breath for long enough because the whim whim puts too much effort emphasis on hyperventilation now actually the magic is in the holding the breath because whim gets confused <coughs> and so does everyone else it's only a is more in recent times people have started to realize that it's about breathing less not more because he even says breathe more motherfucker right he says that as his mantra sure but actually it's not about breathing more no it's breathing more consciously yes but he doesn't say that so it's a it's a mistake it's that mistake i spoke at the beginning is that hyperventilation doesn't get you more oxygen to the system right it's the CO2 that does. Mm. So in the Wim Hof method, the real active ingredient is the breath hold. So that's where the magic happens. And when you can get your breath hold time to like 90 seconds, that's when the real magic happens. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah, as you explained. Yeah. Beginning. And, you know, there's, it's very good, right? What he's got, it works for most people if it's done correctly. And it is a, it's a, pretty hardcore pranayama tantric breathing technique which was kept hidden but what it does is it mimics um intermittent hypoxic therapy or high altitude training because you're doing a period of fast or intermittent hyperoxic hypoxic training is the more accurate therapy that's done in clinics which has incredible health benefits it mimics that and does it for free so it's really good and if it's done with the right protocol, it can do wonders as it you've mm -hmm. seen so many case studies. Um, but for some people, they like they they may all they need to do is that. For others, you may need to change a few more aspects, like your mindset. If you're an addict, if you have got psychological issues, if you need therapy. You know, if you are eating the wrong foods, it doesn't matter how much Wim Hof method breathing you do. Mm -hmm. All of that's going to affect your health so and your mindset. So with Soma Breath, we, we're really about being holistic. And then there's so many other breathing techniques. That one breathing technique mm -hmm. is just one of many pranayama techniques. They're all amazing, which are all functional, like from going to sleep, de-stressing, uh, creating more energy, yeah. getting to psychedelic states so we we try and <clears throat> teach that whole range now Wim knows all of it he knows so much that he, he knows does, yeah. Sanskrit I, he, I listened to a podcast with him about seven, a years, seven years ago yeah. and how deep he went into all the, the Eastern wisdom was awesome. yeah it was blew me away no no he's a total genius he's he's a true yogi like high level but I feel that it's been uh, and it's probably the right thing, the right approach. It's been um, decentralized, productized for. I don't even know if that's a word, but it's been turned into a product, a package for the to mainstream, mainstream masses. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. so it's like a feeder system. So it's soma breath. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. I mean, it's but it's great. It's amazing. It's amazing what he's done, and he's mm -hmm. like the ultimate for me. One of the most important people yeah. of our generation to come along. 